Good morning YouTube. I'm on my way to Tembury Wells to um, visit my mum, take her out for the day somewhere, which I try to do most weeks while I'm in the country. Not last week, because remember all that car trouble, so, and with work in between, it just didn't work out, so we're on our way now. I'm now, I've just passed through uh, the village of Leicesters. Um, I wanted to put the video on now, because we're now we're going down the hill, with locally is known, um, do you know what, I can't really remember what it's called now, but anyway, this is a big, big hill, steep hill that leaves the village of Leicesters. Um, I think this is called Anchordine. Have I got the wrong hill? Could be, anyway. Um, so I don't know if you can get the idea of the views in the distance there. So I'm trying not to go too fast. Years and years ago, I came down this way on the way to work, and we're talking back in the 1980s. We're talking nigh on 40 years ago. Not quite, but nearly 40 years ago, I was coming down here in my, what would it have been? I think it was my Austin Allegro or my Morris Marina. It was that long ago when they were on the road. Um, and that was quite old at the time. But, but there was that much snow on the ground, I lost it, round about this corner here. So my friend that was with me, that I picked up for work that day, I think he thought I was having him on, but I actually lost it. How we got down here in one piece, how we got down here alive, I will never know. But I don't know if you can get the idea of how steep this actually is. So we come to the bottom of it now, and it was, I remember it being such a relief. This is where it starts to flatten out. There we go. This is where we realised we were safe. We got down there in one piece. But yeah, that's how time flies. Hey? Say that's early 80s, mid 80s, whatever. So pushing 40 years ago. And these things, uh, they stay with you, don't they? they never, you never forget these sort of things. So like I said, I'm on my way to Tembury Wells now. We are now coming nearly into village of St. Michael's and I will just slow down as we come into this village as a slightly for those mm, local people might, might not even know this but I'll give you a little bit of local information in a minute because basically I'm this is where I was born and bred not in St. Michael's I was born and bred in Bockleton which is what would it be uh, oh, five miles or something away from here so we just you see the sign there, we've just come into the county of Worcestershire. So this is the start of St. Michael's. What a nice, there we go, there's the sign there, can you see that? St. Michael's, there we go. Still the other side. Down a gear. Wow, well, I don't know if you saw that, but that was just a buzzer landing there attacking something. I don't think you could have even seen that. I nearly missed it myself. So he's probably seeing a rat or a vole or a mouse or something. So on our left hand side now, bear with me, there is the church. Bear with me just a second, I'm actually going to pull in here. Whether I'm allowed to or not, I don't know, but I'm going to. This. No parking, parking for the church, but that's okay. So, if we go down here. This is the church of St. Michael's. This also was, yeah, there, look, private property, St. Michael's College. But I don't think I can actually go in there. Now, years and years and years ago, let me just take you off here for a second. Can you see that? That's part of the college. Um, it's not a college anymore, so I'm going to back out because I'm not even sure what it is nowadays. It's obviously private property. They probably wouldn't appreciate. But I thought we could go in here to the church. Bear with me a second. I'm just going to risk this. Probably get told off. Can you see that? This was all part of the college. 
those and those there. Yeah, so that's the college there. Now, the interesting part about this, let me just reverse out. I'm not quite sure what, what this is going to become. So, it's not a college anyway. Look at that beautiful old building. Now, before the days of Harry Potter, there's the church itself. Before the days of Harry Potter, there was a film made about witches and wizards, and it was set here. Again, back in the early 80s, I think it would have been. I might try and find that online somewhere, but this is where they were based, and it was all about witches. I can't remember, such a long time ago, but it was all about, again, it was about children flying on broomsticks and whatever, and the bad witches and the good witches and whatever. That's the solid gist of it. So this is St. Michael's College, which used to be a college, and it more of an international college. They used to come from all over the world, really, to study here. And it's such a pity it's not a college anymore, so I'm not quite sure what it is. So I'm just going to put you back on the old gadget. Bear with me a second. Bear with me. So there you are again. So yeah, so I so say that was St. Michael's College. Um, it, it was, it was um, a very popular and famous college, I suppose you could say. How long it hasn't been a college for, I don't know, because obviously I'm never in the country and I don't live around this area anymore. But yeah, as I can see to the right there, it's all fenced off. Back in the day, all through the 80s, from 79 till 1989, I think it was, I used to work not far from here in a tree nursery, a couple of miles from here. Um, as I say, a long, long time ago. So I come across this road here. This is uh, known as Oldwood Common. It's a common land that everybody can use, walk their dogs and whatever. Um, picnics and stuff, I don't know, I don't think any open fires are allowed on it, but yeah, it's quite a huge common as you can see. So anyway, that's quite interesting about St. Michael's, like I say, it used to be a college, the college sign is still there, what it's going to be developed into, I don't know, there were builders there, so I probably was going to get told off I shouldn't be there, because it does say private property, so, um, but I just wanted to have a quick peek at that. So that's it for now. Um, I'm off to Tembury Wells. I'm about five minutes away. Everybody have a good day, and I will speak to you soon. Please like and subscribe as always, and take care. So hi, this is um, a place called Dinmore, on the road, the back road between Bodham and Dinmore. This is um, the tunnel that goes under the Queenswood at, at Dinmore, through Dinmore. Just I stop and show you, this is actually, this is in the village of Dinmore. This is a railway line that's obviously still used. This connects Harryford. Um, what did it do? Harryford uh, to Ludlow. Uh, so Lemster, I think it is, onto Ludlow, is it? Yeah, and up, up through Shropshire and so on. And if it was going the other way, you go to Harryford, then onto Wales. So I'm just going to walk down here now. Just going to have a look. There you go, there's the tunnel going in. It's a better view of it. Bit of a zoom in there. There we go. Just gonna have a look on the other side in a second. Is this car coming? Just gonna let that go by. Yeah, just have a walk, quick walk over the other side. And that would have been the old railway station. It's not used anymore, so I think people actually live in that, which happens to a lot of railway stations that are sort of disused. That obviously the railway line's still used. Um, but that railway station itself, there's no stop in there, that's that's private property now. So, off back to my car. See you later.